CMX baby. This guy's got somebody else's hook in his mouth. That's right. Wake up. It's time to go fishing. I was debating filming this or just catching for fun. Both are fine. But this pond and the one right behind me looks so froggy that it'd be a shame to miss some topwater blow ups. So, so we've tied on our CMX Carag, small ultralight kind of frog. And we're gonna see if we can't get some topwater fish. Actually, I made that mistake at Clear Lake of not flavoring it. And I might have had a catfish topwater with a frog. So I'm not gonna take any chances. We're gonna add some scent to it. Scent and flavor. Pretty sure this has uh, aminos in it. Amino acids, tastes like protein, tastes like a meat. God, that plant. Gives it a meaty flavor. Well, we're just gonna see what happens here. There's a lot of sunfish in here. They've already tried to take my worm a few times. So imagine we're gonna get a few pop-ups from like right there. And that was a sunfish, I think. That wasn't a blow-up, that was a grab the silver piece and drag it under. So we're gonna be fighting those off. Let's try to backlash this. I mean not backlash this. We're gonna set this really low and we're gonna send it way out there. Nope, too late. Like how I was joking about backlashing that I did. And we're just gonna keep making casts all around. We got lots of space to cover. Lots of, oh. Sunfish pulled in there. The only problem I'm having is this one's over a year old. And they're so soft that sometimes when a sunfish pulls them under, it collapses them and they uh, gain water and then they'll stay under. Something hit it, but thump thumped it. So I don't know if it's a sunfish or a bass. Could just be a baby bass. Could be a sunfish. Oh, whatever that was, we had it. Thought we did. There we go. Bloop. CMX baby. All right. Good hook set too. See, a bunch of little guys. Bloop. So I think for most of this video, we're just gonna stick to top water. I think we're gonna have lots of, lots of blow ups here. This is the same spot where I did catch a green sunfish on top water. There's a whole family of ducks over there. I'll go around and show you else we're working with. with this.
lots of this. You just gotta find which spots they are hiding in. Sure. Oh, that might be, you know, maybe I'll get a measurement on that one. Look at that. Nah, we're good. Right at the edge of the grass line, though. Edge of the grass line. There we go. This guy's got somebody else's hook in his mouth. That's nuts. Wonder if I can, I can't get the hook, but I can trim the string much closer. Hopefully that'll help him. That's crazy. So I probably cut like six or so inches of string out of that guy's mouth. Definitely has to help a little bit. No, that's crazy. I let him take it. I set the hook. What happened? Maybe I didn't set the hook good enough. Dang, that was three casts out there. Can't believe we didn't hook any of the ones over here though. Probably gonna keep moving on here. A double take on that one. <laughs> He's a feisty one. Feisty, feisty, feisty. Hmm, pretty dark too. Well, now we got one from both sides, finally, so we can carry on. Is that an otter? Hey, otter. You stay out of here. Dude, these otters just go through and destroy populations of fish.
Hey, that's why I never catch any giants in here. Catch some okay fish. But nothing really big. At least not yet. I've seen one big fish splash trying to eat ducks. But if there's only like one giant in this whole pond, the odds of catching the one, it's nuts. That river otter, stinker. We'll go through, dive down, eat all the catfish they can find. They're pretty destructive on the environment, on the fishing environment. Pretty destructive. And now we're back to one of the main channels. Still so high, you can only see the stump. That's about as far as we're going. We're gonna go a little bit on the other side, but there's a tree under the water there. Some bushes over there. <gasps> no. That was him. It must have not got hooked hooked. Dang. <coughs> that was the fish. Man. Getting real sick of losing losing the fish. I feel like I've been on a streak lately. I'm on a streak. Got all these weeds in this hook. I wonder why I didn't hook. Uh, Plastic's all jammed up in it. Darn! Poopy. Poop. Poopity poop poop poop. Don't on the wacky. Really. I forgot I had this out there. Leave the wacky rig out there, it'll do its job. Okay. Uh. <coughs> yeah, not big enough for a little We need a 12 and a half, but we don't need a 12 and a half. Cool. Well, it's getting dark though. Not much. Not much later. Let's go check this frog corner real quick. That was kind of cool. No, no. Got her on. Hey. 
pocket. That's right. 